Today we found ourselves under the hood of the Silverado yet again. Uh, I knew I wasn't done with this thing. So I got the, what was it? Got the rocker arm replaced last week, changed the oil on it. Uh, just showed you guys how to do a little oil life reset on her. But my problem is on the low end, like she kind of falls on her face, mid range is all right. But then on the top end, it just starts breaking up. So, and at highway speeds, it just kind of lurches a little bit. The only thing that comes to mind right now is the spark plug. So what I'm gonna do is go over that today. Well, I'm just gonna kind of take a look at them and see what we can find. All right, well, passenger side checked out. Uh, gaps are good. Um, it actually looks like it's running fairly well on the passenger side, but we'll get started on the driver's side now. All right, well, it was in fact, it wasn't a broken spark plug like the last time, but it is fouled. My camera is doing a great job at focusing. I cleaned it up a little bit, but uh, you can't tell at all. Anyway, uh, it's, it's fouled. Like, yeah, I don't know how many times I'm gonna, oh, 
Nope, still not having it. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to the parts store real quick and go ahead and get a new one. Put that in there and it should be fine. Uh, actually, to my surprise, the rest of them looked really well and the gaps are fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and run and get one of those and I'll be back. All right, back from the parts store. Um, normally when I swap out plugs, I usually like to do all eight of them, but for now this one is just the number seven cylinder was bad. I just swapped them out about a month ago, but I just wanted to go over real quick. Uh, my battery's trying to die and I just wanted to get this in before it dies. Uh, for the stock AC Delco Iridium spark plugs, you want to make sure they're gapped to 0.040. Um, my camera's not wanting to focus on this at all, but uh, anyway, yeah, for the stock Iridiums, I do, I usually run a better plug, but the engine just, I don't know, it's got high miles on it and I just want to make sure it's running well, so I just went with the stock ones. Also, I would like to note that you should be using anti-seize on the threads when installing them, especially in these aluminum heads. I know people that have gotten away with not having to do that, but it's just best to do it. All right, well the camera battery died, so I've got the trusty uh, GoPro here. I'm just trying to get you guys a little side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, obviously the one on the right is not good. Um, I don't know if it's picking this up or not, uh, but anyway, it is fouled this one's not fouled but anyway i believe that this is from blow by from oil getting past the piston i think the rings are going bad like i said this is a high mileage engine but anyway i just wanted to get you guys a good little side by side comparison of fouled and not fouled all right what's up guys i just realized that i didn't do any kind of outro before i left the shop so i just got home drive home went well uh no lurching anymore as you can see the idles running smooth and I'm well aware that I do have a check engine light I've yet to clear that but as always thank you guys for watching and have a great day